In October 2010, I experienced some kind of existential crisis. I had always believed that all it took was inspiration. She just needed to inspire people and she could change the world. And five months before that, in May 2010, I had founded a nonprofit organization called Lead Us Today, whose mission is to inspire, mobilize, and empower young Zimbabweans to work together beyond socioeconomic barriers so that they can lead community development efforts together. And I worked really hard. I was so passionate, so fired up. I would spend hours and hours trying to raise money for this nonprofit to the extent that I neglected my schoolwork. And then somebody had to speak sense into my head. I was at school at Harvard to gain an education, to learn, to acquire knowledge so that I could make an impact. And that made me change the whole way I saw things. And I think that it is the same with us. Great, we're inspired to be here, but at the same time, we are here to learn, to acquire knowledge. But even then, it is not enough. If we are to really empower young people in Zimbabwe, if we are to empower young people all over the world, they need to be able to produce knowledge. To produce knowledge that allows them to tackle their problematic realities specific to their communities. To that end, Leaders Today has developed a robust model that allows for young people to be engaged, for them to produce knowledge. And in that robust model, we are transforming high schools from places where young people passively receive education to places in which they engage, in which they learn. We provide leadership training to high school students where they're inspired and where they start to believe that it is their responsibility to make an impact. And they engage in community, they engage their communities and design projects such as a vegetable such as vegetable gardens that provide food for HIV AIDS patients. Moreover, Leaders Today also works directly with communities and provides opportunities for economic empowerment by establishing social businesses. To date, we have trained 118 students in our leadership program. They have mobilized over 400 members of their communities to implement 16 community development projects. At the end of the day, we are democratizing from below, democratization from below, where it's not just about elections, but about involving every citizen. We are decentralizing the production of knowledge so that young people and their communities produce their own knowledge. And at the end of the day, we will realize our vision of engaged and socially responsible citizens in Africa.